Hey lightweights, here's what you can expect from today's episode of Mass Effect. I really want to be sassy, but I'm worried that that will bite me in the butt later. Oh! Oh! Garrus, oh. okay! Glad to see you're okay, Commander. Oh, real quick, I am recording <clears throat> this before part one is posting. So if you guys gave me advice and tips and I'm not implementing it, I promise I'm not ignoring you. Uh, I just haven't seen it yet. <laughs> Commander, I'm glad to see you're okay. Losing Jenkins was hard on the crew and I'm glad we didn't lose you too. Things were pretty rough down there. Yeah, you never get used to seeing dead civilians. It doesn't seem right somehow. But at least you stopped Saren from wiping out the whole colony. I couldn't have done it without you. We're Marines. We stick together. And I'm just sorry that we lost Jenkins. Yeah, I wish I could have done something to save Soldiers him. Soldiers die! <laughs> I was there. You did everything right. It was just bad luck. That would have been so rude. It's been a hell of a shakedown, Cruz. Our first mission ends with one Spectre killing another. The Citadel Council's not going to be happy about that. Probably use it to lever more concessions out of the Alliance. So it always seems like, this is a bad example, but when we have, um, when the options for the responses are on the right hand side, like where it says, don't worry about it. And there's like a top one, a middle and a bottom one. It always seems like it's a scale of like, super nice to like middle of the road to just mean. I don't know if the left side with the top and the bottom is the same. It kind of has the same tone. Like, seems like you've been around, seems a little bit more pleasant, or the keep it to yourself seems more like the harsh military, like, err. I don't know if that's like actually a thing or if I'm reading into, into it too much, but it's been kind of nice because a lot of times I struggle with these games because what the text says and then what they actually say or how they say it is not the same way that I wanted them to say it. But so far this has been pretty accurate because it's like a scale of like kindness to harshness. You've got a good grasp of the situation. You a career man? Yeah, a lot of biotics are. We're not restricted, but we sure don't go undocumented. May as well get a paycheck for it. Besides, my father served. I made him proud when I enlisted. Eventually. But is that why you're here? Because of your family? I think based off of my backstory, that would make sense. I was a regular Navy brat. I got a little more noteworthy than the folks expected. Oh, that's right, the Blitz. I imagine that bought you any posts in the fleet. Word is we're heading for the Citadel, ma'am. Can you, uh, tell me why? The Captain hopes the Ambassador can get an audience with the Council. Tell them what Saren's been up to. He didn't tell me I couldn't Makes say. Sense. They'd probably like to know he's not working for them anymore. Whatever happens, we'll that be ready. That is not how that's gonna go down. I'm calling it right now. Paragon plus two. What does that mean? Um, th they are not gonna believe us. We are some no name, well, okay, slightly named, but pretty much no name human versus one of their specters. There's no way they're gonna believe yes, us. Yes, Commander? Is there something you need? All right. As much as I would like to t do all this, I... I should go. Goodbye, Commander. I feel like I don't really have time to do all that. So... Um... Where am I supposed to be going right now? I like this music. Oh wait, Ashley was with us. I'm glad you're okay, Commander. The crew could use some good news after what happened to Jenkins. Did she know Jenkins? Didn't we pick her up after Jenkins died? See, the he'll be missed. Soldiers die. Like, that's just... Jenkins was a valuable part of this crew. Part of me feels guilty over what happened. If Jenkins was still alive, I might not be here. It really wants me to say soldiers die. You're a good soldier, Williams. You belong on the Normandy. Thanks, Commander. That means a lot from you. 
I've never met anyone who was awarded the Star of Terra. Things were pretty rough down there. Are you okay? I've seen friends die before. It comes with being a Marine. But to see my whole unit wiped out, and you never get used to seeing dead civilians. But things would have been a lot worse if you hadn't shown up. We couldn't have done it without you, Williams. Thanks, Commander. I have to admit, I was a little worried about being assigned to the Normandy. It's nice when someone makes you feel welcome. Don't disappoint me. I think me. we're gonna fit in here just fine, Williams. Thanks, Commander. Paragon plus two. So is that like I'm saying nice things? Is it Paragon versus bitch? <laughs> Go speak to Joker when you're ready. Oh. Tell him to bring the Normandy into dock. Okay. <clears throat> Where do I go to do that? That's where I came from. Okay, hold on. I'm all turned around now. This way. All turned around. This seems promising. What was that? Okay, so what is... Ugh, I know I asked this last time, but... Oh, I can't open this yet? Or am I just not in the right spot? But there's the little X on the mini-map. Only commanding officer. Oh. So that X was the map. I wonder what the X on the planet was. All right, John Doe, Good take timing, us in. Commander. I was just about to bring us into the Citadel. See that taxpayer money at work. Telltale Batman reference. For those who didn't know. I'm assuming you all did, but just in case. sizes and everything. Why so touchy, Joker? I'm just That's saying a ship. we need firepower, too. Look at that monster! Its main gun could rip through the barriers in any ship in the Alliance fleet. Good thing it's on our side, then. Citadel Control, this is SSV Normandy, requesting permission to land. Stand by for clearance, Normandy. Clearance granted. You may begin your approach. Transferring you to an Alliance operator. Roger, Alliance Tower. Normandy out. Are those little like Normandy, this is Alliance Tower. Fins? Please proceed to dock 422. Are there people on there? Like, is that like places we can walk to, or is it just the ring part? Oh, so cool. <gasps> oh, it's so pretty. This is an outrage! Is that a the fake Council sky would up there? step in if the Geth attacked a Turian colony? The Turians don't found colonies on the borders of the Terminus systems, Ambassador. Humanity was well aware of the risks when you went into the Traverse. What about Seren? You can't just ignore a rogue specter. I demand action! You don't get to make demands of the Council, Ambassador. <coughs> Citadel Security is investigating your charges against Seren. We will discuss the CSEC findings at the hearing, not before. I freaking knew it! I freaking knew Captain it! Anderson, I see you brought half your crew with you. Just the ground team from Eden Prime, in case you had any questions. I have the mission reports. I assume they're accurate? They are. Sounds like you convinced the Council to give us an audience. They were not happy about it. Seren's their top agent. They don't like him being accused of treason. I think I'm going to stick with it's the truth because 
They're blind is a little harsh, and T is dangerous. Could be... Could go the right way. Saren's a threat to every human colony out there. If they don't stop him, I will. Settle okay. down, Commander. You've already done more than enough to jeopardize your candidacy for the Spectres. The mission on Eden Prime was a chance to prove you could get the job done. Instead, Nihilus ended up dead and the beacon was destroyed. Nuh -uh, That's in my brain. Fault, not hers. Then we better hope the CSEC investigation turns up evidence to support our accusations. Otherwise, the Council might use this as an excuse to keep you out of the Spectres. Come with me, Captain. I want to go over a few things before the hearing. Shepard, you and the others can meet us at the Citadel Tower, top level. I'll make sure you have clearance to get in. And that's why I hate politicians. Important locations are marked on your map. Open the mission computer to access it. Okay, cool. CSEC Academy. All right. Point of interest. So damn it, what did I miss on the planet that was a point of interest? Surveyed? Transition, I'm assuming, is like stairs or an elevator. Dina's office. Point of interest. Okay, so I guess let's go to... You have to prove to the Citadel Council that Saren, one of their Spectre agents, has gone rogue. After the Geth secure a location, they round up and impale dead and living bodies on mechanical spikes. The spikes rapidly transform these victims into withered husks, extracting water and trace minerals, and replacing them with cybernetics. The cybernetics reanimate the lifeless flesh and tissue, transforming the bodies into mindless killing machines. Some Alliance soldiers refer to the husk-generating spikes as dragon's teeth a reference to the mythological berserkers who sprang up from the earth wherever the teeth of the dragon Eris were planted. Dragon's teeth and husks bear little resemblance to other pieces of geth technology. No one is sure why a synthetic race would bother to drain the minuscule amount of recoverable resources from organic corpses, though the value of reusing them as shock troops is obvious. I swear Saren has that stuff in him. So weird. The Citadel is an ancient deep space station, presumably constructed by the Protheans. Since the Prothean extinction, numerous species have come to call the Citadel home. It serves as the political, cultural, and financial capital of the galactic community. To represent their interests, most species maintain embassies on the Presidium, the Citadel's inner ring. The okay. Citadel Tower in the center of the Presidium holds the Citadel Council Chambers. So that's this council thing? affairs often have far-reaching effects on the rest of the galactic community. Five arms, known as the Wards, extend from the Presidium. Their inner surfaces have been built into cities, populated by millions of inhabitants from across the galaxy. That's so freaking The Citadel cool. is virtually indestructible. If attacked, the station can close its arms to form a solid, impregnable shell. For as long as the station has existed, an enigmatic race called the Keepers has maintained it. Keepers reminds me of The Halo. Council is an executive committee composed of representatives from the Asari Republics, the Turian Hierarchy, and the Salarian Union. Though they have no official power over the independent governments of other species, the Council's decisions carry great weight throughout the galaxy. No single council race is strong enough to defy the other two, and all have a vested interest in compromise and cooperation. Each of the council species has general characteristics associated with the various aspects of governing the galaxy. The Asari are typically seen as diplomats and mediators. The Salarians gather intelligence and information. The Turians provide the bulk of the military and peacekeeping forces. Any species granted an embassy on the Citadel is considered an associate member, bound by the accords of the Citadel conventions. Associate members may bring issues to the attention of the Council, though they have no input on the decision. The Human Systems Alliance became an associate member of the Citadel in 2165. 
Okay, so I want to know about the... Roughly 1,200. Hmm, so I know technically right now are the Turians. So I don't know which one is which of the other ones. We're just hacking into computers on the Citadel. Alliance Patrol Report. Captain Hendrickson reported some unusual energy readings during a patrol of the Argos Row Cluster. She had particular concerns about the Hydra system, but was recalled before her team could investigate further. No patrols are scheduled for that sector. Do we want to send a recon team? So we have assignments and missions. So assignments, I'm assuming, are more like side quests? I mean, I think that would make sense, right? This is so cool. I wonder if the Dragon's Teeth is a reference to Dragon Age. I have not played those games yet. So I'm not sure, but it it would be cute if they put an Easter egg into their own games. I just love the look of like the their interpretation of the futuristic look is just really freaking cool. Allow me to be your guide. So this is the... Yes, okay. Destination is a little flickering flag. Alright, so we want to go... I don't need your help, lady. Thanks, so. though. Fast travel. Major locations is explore the citadel more... more. Wow, I can't read. As you explore the citadel, more locations will unlock. <laughs> What the heck is that thing? Oh wait, I think I remember those from um, Andromeda. I don't remember what they're called though. They kind of look like rhinos, right? Where's my destination? Oh, did I want to go on those stairs? To CSEC Academy. So do I want to take this? Oh, got it. You arrived at Citadel Tower. Is this where I want to be? <laughs> plot? What's a plot? I have so much to learn. Saren's hiding something. Give me more time. Stall them. Stall the council? Don't be ridiculous. Your investigation is over, Garrus. Commander Shepard, Garrus Vicarian. I was the officer in charge of the CSEC investigation into Saren. Come across anything I should know about? Saren's a specter. Most of his activities are classified. I couldn't find anything solid. But I know he's up not. to something. Like you humans say, I feel it in my gut. I think the council's ready for us, Commander. Ugh. Good luck, Shepard. Maybe they'll listen to you. I like this guy. I do have to say, the freaking the alien races we've seen so far, their design is really cool. Like, look at that. So cool. Oh, well, they kind of look buggy. They're still cool looking, though. All right, so we like Garrus. I do think I recognize that name from just social media when people tweet about this, so I think he'll be in the game more. Although, who really knows? Because people do have a tendency to fall in love with characters that you literally meet for one second. Like Lady D in Resident Evil. She's in the game for like an hour. <laughs> and you would think that she's like the whole point of the game. The bowlers won't be joining the council for years. I'm not so sure. The humans are making a strong push, and you can bet the bolus will be right on their coattails if they succeed. Who are the bolus? Allowing the humans to join us can What are you? Are you a bolus? The hearing's already started. Come on. 
So does plot mean like that's the main, like we're moving forward, the main plot of the story, like it's the main mission? The Geth attack is a matter of some concern, but there is nothing to indicate Saren was involved in any way. The investigation by Citadel Security turned up no evidence to support your charge of treason. An eyewitness saw him kill Nihilus in cold blood. We've read the Eden Prime reports, Ambassador. The testimony of one traumatized dock worker is hardly compelling proof. I resent these accusations. Nihilus was a fellow Spectre, and a friend. That just let you catch him off guard. Captain Anderson, you always seem to be involved when humanity makes false charges against me. And this must be your protege, Commander Shepard. The one who let the beacon get destroyed. The mission to Eden Prime was top secret. The only way you could know about the beacon was if you were there. With Nihilus gone, his files passed on to me. I read the Eden Prime report. I was unimpressed. But what can you expect from a human? Saren despises humanity. That's why he attacked Eden Prime. Your species needs to learn its place, Shepard. You're not ready to join the Council. You're not even ready to join the Spectres. He has no right to say that! That's not his decision! Shepard's admission into the Spectres is not the purpose of this meeting. This you meeting has no purpose. The humans are wasting your time, Counselor. And mine. You can't hide behind the Council forever. There is still one outstanding issue. Commander Shepard's vision. It may have been triggered by the Beacon. Are we allowing dreams into evidence now? How can I defend my innocence against this kind of testimony? I agree. Our judgment must be based on facts and evidence, not wild imaginings and reckless speculation. Do you have anything else to add, Commander Shepard? I really want to be sassy, but I'm worried that that will bite me in the butt later. My gut instinct and what I would actually say is, what's the point? <laughs> I'm doing You've it! You made your decision. I won't waste my breath. Yes, Shepard! As I spit everywhere! The Council has found no evidence of any connection between Saren and the Geth. Ambassador, your petition to have him disbarred from the Spectres is denied. I'm glad to see justice was served. No, oh, shut up, you. This meeting is adjourned. Well, we knew that wasn't gonna go well, so that's not surprising to anybody. This dude, probably gonna show up dead, though. I hope he's made his, his will, his, his living testament, because he's done. It was a mistake bringing you into that hearing, Captain. You and Saren have too much history. It made the Council question our motives. I know Saren. He's working with the Geth for one reason. To exterminate the entire human race. Every colony we have is at risk. Every world we control is in danger. Even Earth isn't safe. I do want to know his history, Tell Saren. me about this history between you and Saren. That would be good to know going into it. a long time ago. Things went bad. Real bad. We shouldn't talk about this here, but I know what he's like, and he has to be stopped. What's our next step? As a Spectre, he's virtually untouchable. We need to find some way to expose him. What about Garrus, that CSEC investigator? We saw him arguing with the Executor. That's right. He was asking for more time to finish his report. Seems like he was close to finding something on Saren. Any idea where we could find him? I have a contact in CSEC who can help us track Garrus down. His name is Harkin. Forget it. They suspended Harkin last month, drinking on the job. Oh. I won't waste my time with that loser. You won't have to. I don't want the Council using your past history with Saren as an excuse to ignore anything we turn up. Shepard will handle this. I mean, we've got to stick up for the Captain. Can't just cut Captain Anderson out of this investigation. The Ambassador's right. I need to step aside. I okay. need to take care of some business. Captain, meet me in my office later. Harkin's probably getting drunk at Cora's Den. It's a dingy little club in the lower section of the wards. Maybe there's another way to find evidence against Saren. You should talk to Barla Vaughn over in the financial district. Rumor has it he's an agent for the Shadow Broker. The Shadow Broker? An information dealer. Buys and sells secrets to the highest bidder. I've heard Balavan's one of the top representatives. He might know something about Saren, but his information won't come cheap. All right, 
Alright, so we've got lots to learn and lots to talk about. So, um, we're just gonna work our way around the circle. Our ambassador doesn't seem to get along with the council. Yeah, he's, he's not a great ambassador. The council's always preaching that we need to be part of the galactic community. But for them, it's a one-way street. They want us to expand and settle unstable regions like the Skillian Verge and the Attican Traverse. But when we run into trouble, they don't want to help us out. Everyone knows it's only a matter of time until we get a seat on the council. The ambassador just thinks it should happen sooner rather than later. And I agree. Maybe they'd let us join the council if we were more willing to cooperate with the other species. We're a little bit racist. Of course they would. If we did everything they told us to, they'd love to have us on the council. But it wouldn't be much of a deal for us. I understand their side. They don't want us dominating the council. It's founded on cooperation and alliances. But we have to look out for our own interests, too. All right. You don't think much of Harkin. The guy joined CSEC about 20 years ago. He's been an embarrassment to our species ever since. Roughing up suspects in custody, bribery accusations, alcohol and drug use. <sighs> the embassy used to step in when he got in trouble. But I guess enough was enough. Why protect him? The guy's a scumbag. He should have been cut loose a long time ago. He was one of the first human CSEC officers. Guess it would have looked bad if he got fired. Maybe he a lot of backroom like... deals were worked out over the years to keep him on the force. Politics is a dirty business sometimes, Most but it times. looks like his time's run out. We've got enough humans in CSEC now to stop protecting him. Maybe he's got like PTSD or something. I don't know what they have to do on CSEC, but it sounds like he needs some scumbag. therapy. He should have been cut loose a long time Oops. ago. Sorry. He was one of Oops. the first human CSEC off. A lot of backroom deals, Wait, but it looks like his time's okay. run out. We've got enough humans in CSEC now to stop protecting. My bad. I want to know more about the Spectres. They're not your typical government agency. They tend to work alone, behind the scenes. They take care of problems the Council can't. It's not easy preserving peace across an entire galaxy. The Council prefers to use diplomacy and negotiation. But sometimes more extreme measures are needed. How do they decide who becomes a Spectre? You can't just apply to join. There's no training program. Spectres aren't made. They're born. The Council's always looking for exceptional individuals. People who can get the job done. Like you. They've been watching you for years. They see something in you. They want you on their side. Nihilus was supposed to give them a final recommendation. But with him gone, things are still up in the air. I apologize for the trash truck. I'm just going to mute you temporarily so that you don't have to listen to that. What's their command structure like? There is no command structure. Each Spectre answers directly to the Council. Sometimes they're sent on specific missions. Other times, they act on their own. They tend to operate outside the law, do whatever it takes to accomplish their goals. The Council just turns a blind eye. Spectres have a lot of power, Shepard. So they can just do whatever the fuck they want? And how do they... <sighs> That seems like such a bad system. Like, how do you trust Sarian if they can just do whatever they want? You're not questioning that at all? What happens when a Spectre goes rogue, like Saren? It doesn't happen often. The Council is careful when they select their candidates. But when something does go wrong, there's usually only one solution. Send another Spectre to bring the rogue agent down. Seems like a great way to ask for trouble. Tell me more about the Shadow Broker. He's a necessary evil of galactic politics. Buying and selling information is a part of the game. And the Shadow Broker just happens to be the best player on the field. Always sells to the highest bidder. Doesn't get involved in politics. Doesn't pick sides. A simple system, but it works. He's not a threat to anyone. Not directly. He's just a resource we can use. Or he sounds like a threat to everyone, though. <laughs> Nobody really knows. Tell me about Barla Vaughn. He specializes in moving large sums of money without leaving a paper trail. A financial genius. Doesn't do anything illegal. But he knows all the loopholes. He's got an impressive client list. 
Ambassadors, diplomats, specters. That's probably why the Shadow Broker uses him. Hmm. I should go. Good luck, Shepard. I'll be over in the Ambassador's office if you need anything else. There's so much to learn, I freaking love it. There's just like, we're, what, in, an hour and a half into this game, well, maybe two hours into the game, and there's already so much world building and such a deep story. It's freaking blowing my mind and I am in love. I freaking love it. I freaking love it. Nothing beats good storytelling. Except I don't know what I'm supposed to be doing right now. Okay, talking to all these people. So let's start with... Let's start with that. Can I track it somehow? I don't know. So much to learn about the mechanics too. <clears throat> Thought that was a door. <laughs> Let me out! Okay, I have to go down these stairs. I got turned around again. It is so freaking pretty in here. <sighs> Sorry. Rapid transit. All right, we're gonna go a little bit of here. Wards locations. Oh, so that's. Oh wait, hold on. That's where we wanted to go. Chora's den was where where's where Harkin was, right? Could I, in theory, walk to all these places? Or is it like you have to fast travel to certain chunks and then you can walk around in those chunks? That's her. What? What? Oh, wait. Oh. Oh. Hold on. How'd I do that? Why are we getting, why are people assassinating us? So I can, got it. I still don't know what warp does. Like, what does this do? That's not proof that Saren is not to be trusted? Is there info? Damages all nearby enemies and objects and makes them more vulnerable to further damage. Oh, allows you to throw enemies and objects using a mass effect field. Okay, so I can put it on and then just tap bumper. I'm assuming you guys told me all of this, but I'm just so proud of myself. I just figured it out on my own right now. Oh. Maybe we should put our gun away. I mean, seems a little inappropriate to have out right now. Yeah, these guys. Oh. Back off, Rex. Krogan. This told us to take you down if you showed up. What are you waiting for? I'm standing right here. This is Fist's only chance. If he's smart, he'll take it. He's not coming out, Rex. End of story. The story is just beginning. Out of my they look like humans, I have no quarrel with you. What was that all about? Who knows? Let's just try not to get caught in the middle. They look like rhinos mixed with snails. A snail no. A rhino. I probably have to go in there, but I kinda Wanna walk around a minute. Talk to the patron. Oh, oh. Private dance. Heck yeah, lady. Dude's just living his best life right now. Oh, she's bendy. Throw a gurgle. Hey. The back rooms are private, reserved for Fist and his friends. Who's Fist? He owns this club, but the customers have to stay out front. Okay. What did that other Krogan want? Rex. 
personal matter. Not real chatty, is he? No. Nope. Goodbye. Enjoy the club. Can't hurt to be a little snoopy, though. Park in. There you hey are, dude. There, sweetheart. You looking Ew. for some fun? Because I gotta say, that soldier get-up looks real good on that body of yours. Call me sweetheart one more time. I dare you. Why don't you sit your sweet little ass down beside old Harkin? Have a drink. We'll see where this goes. I'd rather drink a cup of acid after chewing on a razor blade. You trying to hurt my feelings? You gotta do better than that. After 20 years with CSEC, I've been called every name in the book, princess. <laughs> just don't mind me, I'm just gonna vomit in the corner. <sighs> I just want to be an asshole, but is that the best way to get information from this dude? I'm looking for a CSEC officer, a Turian named Garrus. Garrus? <laughs> you must be one of Captain Anderson's crew. Poor bastard, still trying to bring Saren down, eh? I know where Garrus is, but you gotta tell me something first. Did the captain let you in on his big secret? Is there something I should know about the captain? The captain used to be a specter. Didn't know that, did you? It was all very hush-hush. The first human ever given that honor, and then he blew it. Screwed up his mission so bad they kicked him out. Of course, he blames Saren. Says the Turians that set him up. Makes so much more sense. That makes so much more sense. Why'd they kick him out? Have to ask him. I never heard any of the details. Bet it's a good story, though. The heroes fall. Classic tragedy. <laughs> and I didn't quite get how they were working together and why there was so much hatred there. That was the little piece I needed. Just tell me where Garrus went. Garrus was sniffing around Dr. Michelle's office. She runs the med clinic on the other side of the wards. Last I heard, he was going back there. What do you know about Garrus? Damn hothead is what he is. Still figures he can save the world. Always bucking heads with the Executor. He'll pay for it soon enough. The Executor loves to put us lowly field agents in our place. Just look what happened to me. You need to look in a mirror. Sober up and take some responsibility for yourself. Save your sermons. This ain't no church. I'm not- I don't care about your sobriety. But don't be blaming other people when you're literally drinking on the job. Like, what the fuck, dude? Dude. What's it like working for CSEC? You mean, what was it like? The executor suspended me without pay. Recurring violations. CSEC was keeping a file on me. Can you believe that? Yes. Every mistake I ever made went into the books. Get a little rough with a suspect, note in the file. Have a couple of drinks on duty, note in the file. Oh my god. Skim a couple of credits off a drug bus, note in the file. It's a goddamn witch hunt. You get off easy if you this ask dude. me. What the hell do you know? Working for C-Sec isn't like being a Marine. People get pissed off if we shoot somebody. Investigations, inquiries, rules, regulations. Every day I plow through enough red tape to choke a rhino. That's how you gotta be to do this job. So don't talk to me about right and wrong. You soldiers got it easy. Okay, then be a soldier. <laughs> how well do you know Captain Anderson? Met him a few times over the years. One of those hardcore military guys. Yes, sir. No, sir. Can't have any fun with a stick up your ass, sir. That's probably why he climbed the Alliance rank so fast. The military loves brown nosers. The captain's a good soldier. Sure, whatever. Dress him in a fancy suit, pin some shiny medals on his chest, and call him a hero. Everybody else does. Dude, I hate this guy. But if he's so great, why'd the Spectres kick him out? Why don't you go ask him about that? I'm Maybe out I will. Here. Yeah, good. Go. Let me drink it in peace. Ugh! Can we punch him? <laughs> Sorry to intrude. Why didn't Captain Anderson tell us he used to be a specter? Maybe it's not true. Hawkins an ass. But he's just messing with our heads. No, it's definitely true. Probably right. Still, 
I'd like to hear what the captain has to say about all this. So was she on the Normandy before we picked her up, or is she new to the Normandy? Because she acts very familiar with everybody, but I literally thought we just met her on that last planet. With the beacon. What's up here? What are you? Where am I? Upper markets. A store? Ooh. This doesn't seem like markets. This seems like I'm not supposed to be here. What are those things? Are those the keepers? Smart dog. Now, if Garrus comes around, you stay smart. Keep your mouth shut or we'll. Who are you? Let her go. Oh, oh shit, Garrus. Okay. The Citadel seems really dangerous to live at. Oh my god, oh my god, sorry, sorry, sorry. I just want to see what these things do. Overheats nearby enemy weapons and burns them for minor damage. Throw. Nice, does this explode? Oh, it does. Okay. Clear. Can I loot them? I don't think that's a thing. Hey, Perfect Garris. timing, Shepard. Gave me a clear shot at that bastard. You took him down clean. Sometimes you get lucky. Dr. Michelle, are you hurt? No, I'm okay. Thanks to you. All of you. Why were they threatening you? Who do they work for? They work for Feast. They wanted to shut me up. Keep me from telling Garrus about the Quarian. Does this have anything to do with the investigation into Saren? I think it might. Dr. Michelle, tell us what happened. A few days ago, a Quarian came by my office. She'd been shot, but she wouldn't tell me who did it. I could tell she was scared, probably on the run. She asked me about the Shadow Broker. She wanted to trade information in exchange for a safe place to hide. Then what? I put her in contact with Fist. He's an agent for the Shadow Broker. Not anymore. Now he works for Saren. Of course he does! And the Shadow Broker isn't too happy about it. Fist betrayed the Shadow Broker? That's stupid, even for him. Saren must have made him quite the offer. That Quarian must have something Saren wants. Something worth crossing the Shadow Broker to get. So... Are the Quarians the blue ones or are they the buggy ones and that rex dude maybe we can recruit him because he doesn't like fist either and if Fist is working for saren then we're gonna want to take fist down so maybe we can get him to help us with that what else can you tell me about the quarian i'm not sure like i said she wanted to trade information for a place to hide she didn't Wait a minute. Geth. Her information had something to do with the Geth. Honey, how did she you forget that? must be that? able to link Saren to the Geth. <gasps> there is no way the Council can ignore this. Time we paid Fist a visit. This is your show, Shepard. But I want to bring Saren down as much as you do. I'm coming with you. You're a Turian. 
Why do you want to bring him down? Okay, we don't have to sound so racist about it. My investigation, but I knew what was really going on. Saren is a traitor to the council and a disgrace to my people. Welcome aboard, Garrus. You know, we aren't the only ones going after Fist. The Shadow Broker hired a Krogan bounty hunter named Rex to take him out. Smart. Yeah, we saw him in the bar. A Krogan might come in handy. Last I heard, he was at the CSEC Academy. What's he doing there? Fist accused him of making threats. We brought Rex in for a little talk. If you hurry, you can catch him at the Academy before he leaves. Move out. Wait. Oh, so we're gonna get Rex. That's 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 gotta be him. I don't know who those other two are though. So I choose oh. Okay, well we need Garrus. And then Bio okay, biotic is purple, combat is red. Excuse me. Okay, so Garrus is even keel for both combat and tech, but no biotic. Ashley is just straight up combat and nothing else. So I'm going to go with Caden. As much as I like Ashley, I feel like we kind of need to diversify. Sorry, Ashley. Nothing personal. Where'd you go? She's just like, all right, bye. Okay, that's cool. All right, let's just check the map and see what's over here. There's a store over here. So we need to go back to where we were, right? Oh shit, no, we need to go to CSEC. Ugh, sorry. Sorry, 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 hold on. Let's try this again. I think CSAC is the Citadel Towers. What is going on here? What are What are you doing? Okay. That's not CSAC? Oh, I'm so confused. Garrus is gonna be like, what are we doing? The embassies? That doesn't sound right. Maybe we need to go talk to this welcome lady. Welcome to the Presidium. Allow me to be your guide. Greetings and welcome to the Presidium. My name is Avina, and I am pleased to be your virtual guide throughout this level of the Citadel Space Station. What does that mean? I am a fully interactive virtual intelligence, programmed to provide spontaneous guidance at predetermined locations of interest throughout this level of the Citadel. I may also be contacted through any of the Presidium VI terminals, should you require assistance. Give me the tour. You are standing at Presidium Tourism Terminal 1. On either side of this lobby are the embassies of the various Citadel races, along with CSEC headquarters. On the far end of this level, you can see the Citadel Tower, where the Council meets regularly to discuss matters of interstellar importance. I want to know more about Citadel security. Citadel security serves as law enforcement for all regions of the Citadel, though the majority of officers serve in the wards. Executor Palin, a Turian, is the current head of CSEC, but individuals from virtually every species across Citadel space serve as officers beneath him. If you wish to learn more, Executor Palin's office is located in the CSEC headquarters just across the lobby. Goodbye. Okay. Goodbye. So CSEC is Citadel Avina. Security. That's cool. Visit to the, Citadel. the elevator to CSEC Academy is located down the ramp to your left. Okay. 
So they're pretty helpful with the directions, even though the map isn't the greatest for me. I'm assuming this is C-Sec. In light Academy. of a recent attack on Eden Prime, many colonial investors are pulling their support for future projects. Proponents of expanded human colonization insist that Eden Prime was an isolated case. Nevertheless, colonist enrollment has dropped sharply. Many colonial proposals are on hold until backers have some reassurance that human colonies will be adequately protected. That's cool that you get to listen to the news. Okay, that's a cool dress. So I want to go to the exclamation point. Rex. Witnesses saw you making threats in Fist's bar. Stay away from him. I don't take orders from you. This is your only warning, Rex. You should warn Fist. I will kill him. <laughs> you want me to arrest you? I want you to try. Go on. Get out of here. Do I know you, human? My name's Shepard. I'm going after Fist. Thought you might want to come along. <sighs> Shepard. Commander Shepard. I've heard a lot about you. We're both warriors, Shepard. Out of respect, I'll give you a fair warning. I'm going to kill Fist. That's fine, but I need to talk Fist to him first. Fist knows you're coming. We'll have a better chance if we all work together. My people have a saying. Seek the enemy of your enemy, and you will find a friend. I think we're gonna get along just fine, Rex. <laughs> Let's go. I hate to keep Fist waiting. I love making friends! All right! Bye, Kaden! Peace! Who needs humans when you have freaking new friends? Okay, but now where am I going? I need to go to the Chora's place. God, I'm just obsessed with the trees inside. Like, I don't know why I like this look so much, but it's just, ugh. It's so good. All right, so we need to go to Ward's locations, Chora's den. I'm learning slowly but surely. Let's go kill fast. We're so getting attacked in here again. Um, I, I don't think that's where I need to go. This way. <laughs> Follow the naked ladies. <laughs> that's a lot of enemies. Oh my God. Wait, 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 I can't shoot it! Okay. I want to take cover, but there's people everywhere. Oh! That move is so nice. Thug. We need to do, like, short, contained bursts. So we don't overheat. Bartender! Bartender! I don't want to shoot you! Lost shields. Oh, the last stick. Oh, that's so tricky. Okay, wait, what are these things? Barrier. Warp. Okay, we have that. Oh, God. Blocked. Why? Good to go. people I'm sorry so it looks like we auto loot when they die we just get stuff added to our inventory can I see the cooldown on my ability that I have selected dude 
That guy had a lot of health. Oh, we're shooting this. Maybe we're not. Maybe we're not shooting it. XP 14. We got them all, Shepard. Look out! Stop right there. Don't come any closer. Oh, I just attacked that thing. That's helpful. What? Oh my god. Oh my god, you've got to be kidding me right now. Dear Xbox, please make a rechargeable controller. Sincerely, someone who hates buying batteries. Oh my god. Okay. Thank god I had some batteries right there. That would have been so bad. Okay, this takes some getting used to. I'm gonna get it though. I'm gonna get it. Can we? What? Okay, can you use a, use a barrier on me? in there. Oh, I didn't realize I was fist already. Adds a biotic barrier to your shield that absorbs damage but cannot block attackers that bypass shields. Okay, put that shit on me, please. Oh, does it put it on you? Oh, I want it on me. Dude, if you're gonna have that on, you need to go out there and shoot something. Did we get it? Wait! Don't kill me! I surrender! I surrender! <clears throat> yep. <laughs> that just happened. <laughs> Where's the Quarian? She's not here. I don't know where she is. That's the truth. He's no use to you now. Let me kill him. Hold on. Wait, a couple wait, more questions. Then he's all yours. I don't know where the Quarian is, but I know where you can find her. The Quarian isn't here, said you'd only deal with the Shadow Broker himself. Face to face? Impossible. Even I was hired through an agent. Nobody meets the Shadow Broker. Ever. Even I don't know his true identity. But she didn't know that. I told her I'd set a meeting up. But when she shows up, it'll be Saren's men waiting for her. Give me the location. Now. Here on the wards. The back alley by the markets. She's supposed to meet them right now. You can make it if you hurry. What are you doing? The Shadow Broker paid me to kill him. I don't leave jobs half done. I'm okay with that. <laughs> A lot of people died because of him. He had it coming. Now let's move. We have to save that Quarian. Am I a bitch? Probably. Oh my god, this is timed? I was gonna stop after this. Weapon locker. Oh, I want that. Okay, I have to come back. What the fuck?
fatigued. Oh. God, I hope this is the right way. I mean, there's a bunch of assassins there. That seems promising. <laughs> Did you bring it? Where's the shadow broker? Where's Fist? They'll be here. Where's the evidence? No Don't way. touch her. The deal's off. Oh, this is the girl we add to our team. Oh, we don't want that on right now. Why can I not remember to freaking use the left stick? The fuck was that? <laughs> what is going on right now? Not my business. I, knew I couldn't trust him. <sighs> Were you hurt in the fight? I know how to look after myself. Not that I don't appreciate the help. Who are you? My name's Shepard. I'm looking for evidence to prove Saren's a traitor. Then I have a chance to repay you for saving my life. But not here. We need to go somewhere safe. We could take her to the human embassy. Your ambassador will want to see this anyway. You're not making my life easy, Shepard. Firefights in the wards, an all-out assault on Korra's den. Do you know how many... Hi. Who's this? <laughs> Quarian? What are you up to, Shepard? This Quarian can help us bring down Saren. I would have told you that if you hadn't jumped down my throat. I apologize, Commander. This Sorry, sometimes you just say a little Saren sass. Me a bit on edge. Maybe we should just start at the beginning, Miss... My name is Tali. Tali Zora Naraya. We don't see many Quarians here. Why did you leave the flotilla? I was on my pilgrimage. My rite of passage into adulthood. I've never heard of this before. It is a tradition among my people. When we reach maturity, we leave the ships of our parents and our people behind. Alone, we search the stars, only returning to the flotilla once we have discovered something of value. In this way, we prove ourselves worthy of adulthood. That's a lot of pressure. What kinds of things do you look for? It could be resources like food or fuel, or some type of useful technology, or even knowledge that will make life easier on the flotilla. Through our pilgrimage, we prove that we will contribute to the community, rather than being a burden on our limited resources. Tell us what you found. During my travels, I began hearing reports of Geth. Since they drove my people into exile, the Geth have never ventured beyond the Vale. I was curious. I tracked a patrol of Geth to an uncharted world. I waited for one to become separated from its unit. Then I disabled it and removed its memory core. I thought the Geth fried their memory cores when they died. Some kind of defense mechanism. How did you manage to preserve the memory core? My people created the Geth. If you're quick, careful, and lucky, small caches of data can sometimes be saved. Most of the core was wiped clean, but I salvaged something from its audio banks. Eden Prime was a major victory. The beacon has brought us one step closer to finding the conduit. That's Saren's voice. This proves he was involved in the attack. They're gonna argue that it's gonna be some fake voice technology or he some said shit. Eden Prime brought him one step closer to finding the conduit. Any idea what that means? The conduit must have something to do with the beacon. Maybe it's some kind of Prothean technology. Like a weapon. Wait, there's more. Saren wasn't working alone. Eden Prime was a major victory. 
The beacon has brought us one step closer to finding the conduit. And one step closer to the return of the Reapers. Is that the chick? I don't recognize that other voice, the one talking about Reapers. Are they some kind of new alien species? According to the Memory Core, the Reapers were a hyper-advanced machine race that existed 50,000 years ago. The Reapers hunted the Protheans to total extinction, and then they vanished. At least, that's what the Geth believe. Sounds a little far-fetched. The vision on Eden Prime. I understand it now. I saw the Protheans being wiped out by the Reapers. The Geth revere the Reapers as gods, the pinnacle of non-organic life. And they believe Saren knows how to bring the Reapers back. Why? The Council is just going to love this. This is a lot to handle. They might just ignore everything we tell them. No matter what they think about the rest of this, those audio files prove Saren's a traitor. I feel the like Captain's we need more. Right. We need to present this to the council right away. Ugh, it's too hasty. What about her? The My name is Tali. You saw me in the alley, Commander. You know what I can do. Let me come with you. I thought you were on your pilgrimage. The pilgrimage proves we are willing to give of ourselves for the greater good. What does it say about me if I turn my back on this? Fair point. Saren is a danger to the entire galaxy. My pilgrimage can wait. I'll take all the help I can get. Thanks. You won't regret this. Anderson and I will go ahead to get things ready with the Council. Take a few minutes to collect yourself, then meet us in the tower. All right. So she's got tech strength. And listen, Rex, I like you, but you were not being very helpful. But you don't have any tech strength and you have a decent amount of biotic in combat. So I feel like you're a happy medium. So we only need one more crewmate. All right, guys, I am going to stop there. Um, in case you missed it during the video or I cut it out or whatever, uh, I just want to reiterate that I recorded this before part one went up. I will also probably be recording part three before part one goes up. So if you've given me advice or you've told me things that you want to see um, in terms of like the codex entries or the conversations or things like that, if it seems like I'm ignoring you and I haven't implemented that, that's why, because I haven't seen those um, suggestions or recommendations yet. Um, so if there's a couple videos where I, it seems like I'm not listening, that's why. Uh, anyways, I am so in love with this game already. I know I already said it, but I just love the world building. There's so much lore. It, there's already so much depth. We are now probably like two and a half hours in and there's just so much information for me to learn. Layer upon layer upon layer. You can tell they really, really built out this world. It feels like a fully fleshed out universe that we're living in. And that is amazing. A lot of games try to do that, but they don't necessarily do it successfully. So far, I know I'm still very early on, but so far this feels like it's done that very successfully. Um, I have to sneeze, hold on. Maybe not. Oh, it's stuck. Oh, that's the worst. Anyways, <laughs> I love the fact that we're building up our squad. Um, I knew from the little bit of Andromeda that I played that we had a crew, but I guess I didn't realize like we find the people to build up the crew. And I don't recall, you probably do this on Andromeda and I just don't remember because it's been so long, but I don't recall like choosing who you want to go on the missions with. That's really cool. Um, I have a feeling as I start playing and as I get going, I'll have specific people that I kind of use the most regularly. But if you have any advice, advice, any advice? Oh my God, I said that so weird. Any advice on um, talents or traits or anything like that, uh, that the people have, I guess not talents or traits, but abilities that people have that you personally found um, the most helpful, feel free to give those in the comments. Obviously my play style is going to be different than yours, so I might not necessarily utilize those suggestions, but, um, 
like I said, there's a lot to learn. It seems like there's a very steep learning curve. Uh, definitely going to be worth it, but a steep learning curve to get used to for combat and things like that. So if you have any, like, advice on how I choose or which abilities people have that I kind of utilize, feel free to let me know that in the comments as well. But it's really cool that they each have their own abilities that you can use. I'm trying to balance the party and their strengths right now. Not that I really utilize that very much um, with Rex and Garrus, uh, but in theory, in my mind, that's what I would like to do going into these situations. Um, so it's kind of cool that you can get that specific and personalize the gameplay that much to yourself and how you want to play it. Uh, so this just seems like there's a ton of replayability with this as well, because you could probably play it completely differently everywhere, like every time you play it. Uh, but yeah, I'm having a ton of fun. I'm really excited. We already have so many crewmates. I uh, can't wait to see where we go from here and what we do. The Citadel seems huge, but I'm excited to like go other places and see what other places we go to as well, because I'm assuming we're not going to stay in the Citadel the whole time. Um, but that being said, the Citadel is really freaking cool, and it's fun exploring it and walking around and seeing all the different zones and the different areas. I'm sure I'm missing a ton, but I'll probably have to walk around off camera sometime just to kind of explore and dive in and uh, do all that stuff. But for now, I'm just going to keep playing because I'm having fun just learning as I go. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Like I said, feel free to give me any spoiler free suggestions in the comments. I might implement them. I might not, but you know, getting as much information as possible is always a good thing for me. So feel free to leave those tips and tricks in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. And I hope you have an amazing day.